what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer and just a quick little flight demo here as you can see here I have the Sky Viper hover drone the hover drone racer and I have it fitted with props from the new Sky Viper stunt 1700 I think it's the M1700 the new stunt, the new stunt drone that came out by Sky Vipers so these props are a little lighter and they're just two bladed props so let's check this thing out and see how it flies with those as you remember the props that it comes with they're three bladed props and they're uh, quite heavy for this thing I believe so let's check it out batteries charged up stock batteries still in it it's pretty cold out here too so that might be a factor I'm not going to fly it for its entirety anyhow and there's some wind out here as well. So we're going to hold the auto launch, launch button down while we press the stunt button. Well, we're going to hold the stunt button down while we press the auto launch. And that puts it in manual mode. And we're on high rates. A lot of wind out here. accelerometer in this thing is really good I just hit the tree and did a 360 spin really fast and recovered on its own from it and it's very windy out here too so this thing is awesome so these props do make it a little more stable Wind's pushing it around, but it's having no problem having its way with the wind. So you can see this thing flying awesome. <laughs> awesome flying quad, man. Oh, <laughs> almost hit the pole there. Uh oh, lost orientation. Ah, I went up in the highest tree. Looks like. Oh man, we're super far away now. I think that's it for. <laughs> I'll try to walk over there and see if I can reconnect to it. <laughs> yeah, it blew away. The wind blew it away. <laughs> I lost orientation of it and the thing just took off. It got too high up and the wind just took it. down here somewhere I should have just dropped the throttle instead of trying to fight with the ring and wind and bring it back one of the dangers of flying in high wind you always have the risk of losing it like that hopefully we're still connected to it and I can find out where it is So far, I don't hear it. So it seems like we should be right around here somewhere. Okay, so it connected. Wherever it is, it's close by somewhere. Let's see. I 
don't know if it went past this tree here. It's a possibility though. Ah man, might be the end of the hover drone racer. <clears throat> What's up y'all? We back with the hover drone racer. Yes, I did retrieve it. I did manage to get this thing back. Long story, but anyhow, we're out here with the full set, almost the full set. There's another beacon, but there's four beacons that comes with this. I have three of them here, and it's very unique that it's supposed to hook up to this app that I downloaded on the phone. I have it here uh, with the transmitter there. The app supposedly uh, links up with the hover drone racer and the four beacons here so it hooks up with the uh beacons and it actually registered when you fly past the beacon it will register and let somehow the app knows that the quad has passed the beacon so you can actually set the cones up up to four races i guess so i'm guessing 16 cones and all can be set up i have the app open here you can see beacon set up know what type of beacon it is. Okay, it's telling us the number of the beacons. Put the batteries in, that's done. Plug in the racer, lay it flat. So we're gonna do that. See what it says, do next. Make sure the Bluetooth is on. Okay, let me make sure Bluetooth is act activated on my phone. It is activated. It says turn this on. And the light should turn solid, it says. It did turn solid. So it's connecting the hover drone racer. Okay, so it connected. Let's see. Turn the beacons off. The beacons are off. Switch on number one. Okay, number one is on. That's pretty cool. So it's saying turn on number two. Blue is going to be two. Number three, we're going to turn that one on. See if we can start a single player match now. Time trial, continue. Custom track. Okay, so this is one. This is one here. Second beacon there. I know they're pretty close together, but I just want to... <laughs> demonstrate that this thing actually works three over here now let's start it fire on the remote to start it says okay let's see now when you cross the beacon it's supposed to Okay, it's telling me to fly to the beacons now. Fly to beacon one. Fly to beacon two. Fly to beacon two again. Oh, they don't have my third beacon registered. But as you can see, it. So it's actually working, like. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do. <laughs> it says I'm the winner. I'm by myself flying this thing, though. Let me grab these beacons before they get run over.
Okay, so that was pretty cool. It talks and all, and it registers when you fly past the beacon. So, we're just going to fly it around, let you guys see how awesome this thing flies with these props on it. This wind out here is crazy. <laughs> I think it's still connected to my phone via Bluetooth. <laughs> Try a flip, a manual flip. So you gotta build up some momentum. <laughs> manual flip's not going so well. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty awesome flight, man. 